Is it about time the show was axed for good or is it just an overreaction? Well, here to discuss this is our very own angel, Lizzie Cundy, <laughs> who's come dressed perfectly for the <laughs> do you occasion. Like the wings? You look sensational, Lizzie, <laughs> yeah, as you ever. Really do. Alongside Lizzie is internet sensation <laughs> Antonella. Good morning to both of you. Thank good you so morning. much for joining us. So, Lizzie, clearly you're a fan. Yes, I love Victoria's Secrets. So, um, what do you make of this decision then for them to cancel? Uh, well, I, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but what I do know would be foolish to change it because it's a winning brand. They are opening stores all over. I know so many of the sort of younger generation that go in and buy them. They don't just do lingerie, they do all sorts of other clothing as well. Mm -hmm. But it is so popular and their shows are spectacular. I don't know if you've seen a Victoria's Secret well, show. I, I, I have been to one before. I mean, it is essentially, it's a very strong brand worldwide, as you say, and I was lucky enough to go to a show and it is a big spectacle. It is like a, an arena yeah. performance. It, it's brilliant. But is it kind of pigeonholing beauty? You know, is it, are we seeing beauty in only one way? Yeah, but look, we go back to, let's say, Marilyn Monroe. She wasn't I was sort of, like, chosen for her acting skills. She was a beautiful, sexy lady. But we've, and moved, beauty, on. we've moved on. Beauty, yeah. for, for, still, listen, sex sells. Whether we like it or not, that is the business. And it's still to this current day. Yeah, but is that but just saying that that, that is only size, sexy? Lizzie. Yeah, but sexy all sizes, have a size. all sizes. And unfortunately, there is a size specifically for Victoria's Secret. So everything is beautiful and everybody should be included in but that. I agree with you, but I went into a store the other day and it was only like from 10 to 12 upwards. I think sometimes you don't, they don't cater for the smaller sizes so look, either. So, Lizzie, you've got some uh, Victoria's Secrets underwear on. I do. I'm very uh, happy to morning. have the dressing gown. <laughs> yes, my discreetly. mother's watching. Uh, I'm you, happy you've got it on wait, too. <laughs> you, did a, you did a review, didn't you, in, in your municipal style of, yes. the, uh, of the Victoria's Secrets underwear. I did. Which we can show everybody. Here's the uh, <laughs> review from Auntie Nelly. Look what your Auntie Nelly's got. A gorgeous handful of Victoria's Secret goodies. All plus size, might I add. So we're going to start off with this one here. No. <laughs> no. It's a no. These are also extra large, and as pretty as they are, I'm not quite sure what they'll cover. They'll be all right for dusting, I reckon. They kind of fit, look. As long as I stand, Right, still, no sudden movements because otherwise they'll roll down. As I sit here in a very, very tight pair of Victoria's Secret knickers, which are probably giving me thrush, there's absolutely nothing on the shelves for your Auntie Nell. I don't want to be an angel anyway. It's far more fun being a devil. <laughs> and there we that go. Says it she all. is a devil, let me tell you. <laughs> but like you say, you know, the, the business strategy, like you, you know, like you say, it's, it's, it's a global brand. It is. But they're missing out on a, on a real hardcore audience. Yeah, but there are, other, there are other brands that do for larger sizes that they do for smaller sizes. And look, let's be honest, why do, um, you know, Marks and Spencer's use David Gandhi, <laughs> David Beckham in his underwear? Because they're, they're fit. You know, brands use models. And um, that's the way it is. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, that's what sells. Uh, well, Claire's messaged in saying, don't cancel it, just use a variety of models to show that women yeah, are beautiful, absolutely. whatever they look. Absolutely. Would you would you be content if you've got your, your wings Sorry, are caught? Well, these are dangerous. <laughs> they're would they're you be are. happy if Victoria's Secrets, who are notorious and known for these athletic, very uh, slim models, were sort of to branch out and make a sort of a bigger range for bigger women? Absolutely. And if those ladies could also be included as being Victoria's Secrets angels, yeah, then that gives the positive message that everybody's included. Of course, everybody, because. Unfortunately, everybody seems to fit into one box and that's lowering people's self-esteem. It's knocking the self-confidence and I'm all about body confidence and accepting everybody, empowering everybody and being comfortable in the skin you're in. And, and Victoria's Secret should absolutely include all mm -hmm. that. And I yeah. agree with that because I yeah. do believe beauty comes from within and, it is, and it's confidence. But I have to say, these shows are like a one-off. They are, as you've, have you've seen yourself, you know, they are a spectacular and I think it'll be a real shame for it to end. Do you think it's PC gone mad? I do feel like the, it's like the fun police have come in and say, like, right, let's stop everything, <laughs> you know, and I think, you know, it doesn't matter what shape or size you are, yeah. you know, fashion is fun, yeah. but Victoria's Secret is it's just a winning brand, so I'm saying, why change it? Let's have fun with fashion, enjoy it. Because we need to change to move on with the times. Uh, I, yeah. yeah, That's exactly agree. what we need I to do, do, and we need I to do. include 
everybody. We really do. In, back, as you mentioned before, Marilyn Monroe, she was a size 16. Mm. She wouldn't have been an angel. Yeah. She was far too large. Yeah. But you know yeah. what? Those so sex does we need sales. To it does. And it's a very... It and, and whatever, it, that, that makes business work. Absolutely. And my friend owns one of the biggest underwear companies in Ann Summers. And she said, you know, we won't change. If something's winning and working, we're not going to change it. And, you know, they are opening shops all over. They're a global brand. I have brand. my own boutique, Ruby and Daisy, and we do from a size 4 right up to a size 32. All ladies are beautiful, real clothes for real women. Let's get the real women out there. Yeah, exactly. Everybody you can shares. You can borrow these. And yeah, the show. you cannot Everybody pigeonhole shares. sexy. You cannot. Um, we, we, we held no. a poll. We said, is the Victoria's Secret uh, underwear fashion show outdated? 64... Oh, it's, oh, it's just changed. It's just changed. Six, <laughs> as I'm saying. 62% <laughs> of you said yes, it's outdated, with 38% of you saying no. Lots of you saying, uh, Mickey says, I'm all for positive body image, love yourself and stuff, but I don't see the reason to cancel the show. I actually enjoy watching it. Uh, Genesis, I think, it's is a, a good marketing it move. Women are now leaning towards brands that promote good body image over brands that only promote one type of body. Jennifer says, I don't know anybody who has a body like they do. <laughs> I think it's important to teach <laughs> young women either. there are all sorts of body types out there. Celia, mm -hmm. what a shame to cancel the show. They're beautiful women, yes, but women come in all shapes and sizes. I'd love a figure that some of those models have yeah. as well. Mixed bag. It is. Yeah. Let's celebrate beauty and Absolutely. have fun with fashion. And all shapes, all yes. sizes. Everybody's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Exactly. And you are about to take her out with the feather. Well, I'm going to yeah. take off in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing eye protection, don't worry. Uh, thank you very much. Thank girls. you, ladies. Thanks.